Cormac McCarthy is one of America's best known writers, of course, uh, famous for uh, No Country for Old Men, uh, All the Pretty Horses, movies that have, uh, books that have been made into major motion pictures. Um, and, uh, but his, his first four books were all set in, in East Tennessee and in the Knoxville area mostly. Uh, the most Knoxville-centric of all of his books is called Sutry, and it's about a guy uh, who, uh, who, who kind of escaped from middle class life to live among the uh, fishermen and the derelicts of the riverfront. In fact, he lived right about right here in a, in a houseboat in the, in the book. Um, McCarthy's uh, novel Sutry describes the underbelly of Knoxville as it was around 1951. Uh, in, in such detail that uh, some people have doubt, if questioned whether there's anything actually fictional in the book. He actually even refers to uh, apparently fictional characters by the names of real people who are very similar to the, uh, to the characters in the, in the book. It's, it's one of uh, uh, McCarthy's uh, uh, funniest books, but also one of his darkest books. It's, uh, it's a, a, a book that especially fascinates the McCarthy scholars. McCarthy's final book, uh, The Road, uh, is, is about a post-apocalyptic world, um, but he describes a city uh, that looks very much like Knoxville, and he even describes the uh, concrete bridge that appears to be the, uh, the Henley Street Bridge behind us. They're rebuilding it right now, but the Henley Street Bridge plays a role in both the novel Sutri and, uh, and his Pulitzer-winning novel, novel The Road.